we have a hyperbola. We know it's a hyperbola because we have a minus sign and we're being asked to sketch it. So the first thing we'll do is find the center. So the center in this case is one, just switch the sign, so one, and then you switch the sign here, so negative two. To find a for a hyperbola, you just take the square root of whatever number is here. So the square root of four, which is two. And to find b, you simply take the square root of whatever number is here, always, every single time. So square root of nine is equal to three. The x comes first, so this opens left and right. So opens left and right. If the y had come first, so if we had a y here instead of an x, it would open up and down. Because it opens left and right, a will tell us how far to go left and right from the center. If it had opened up and down, A would tell us how far to go up and down. So A always tells you how far to go left and right or up and down. Let's go ahead and graph this. So this will be the Y axis. This will be the X axis. So X, Y. And the center is 1, negative 2. So we'll go right 1 and down 2. So there is the center. And it opens left and right. So we will go left and right by A. So 1, 2, and then we'll put a dot. Then you go left by two, so one, two, and then you put a dot. And then you just go up and down by three. So one, two, three, put a dot. One, two, three, put a dot. Then you connect the dots and you draw a rectangle. Okay, so there's our rectangle. There it is, beautiful stuff. And it opens left and right, so now we can draw the asymptotes. The asymptotes look like this. They cut across the rectangle. They cut through the diagonals like a knife. Looks really pretty. And uh, it opens left and right. So, you know, this point is always on, these points are always on the hyperbola. So it's going to look something like that. It's not too bad. And then likewise over here. And that's it. That's how you graph a hyperbola. I hope this helps.